And this Wednesday marks the three-year anniversary of the passing of former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. That gives us an opportunity to look back over the past three years of Kim Jong-un's time in power. While not much progress has been made on the diplomatic or economic fronts, Pyongyang is believed to have made strides in its military capabilities. Hwang Seung-hee reports. North Korea has pledged to open a new era under Kim Jong-un's leadership. Ahead of the three-year anniversary of the death of former leader Kim Jong-il, the state-run Dodong Shimun newspaper on Sunday said the last three years had been sacred and passed like a hot fireball. Listing the young Kim's Pyongjin line, or the dual development of nuclear arms and the economy, and major construction projects, it labeled the last three years as historic, during which time the regime had become prosperous, both ideologically and materially. Pyongyang remains isolated from the world, but it has made strides in its military capabilities. North Korea has been increasing its accuracy rate of missiles through constant test firings, launching 111 missiles through 19 rounds this year. A senior South Korean military official says North Korea is running 30 nuclear-related institutions like nuclear power plants and speculates Pyongyang possesses around 20 nuclear weapons, which is more than double the amount from a few years ago. Another official notes the North is close to being capable of attaching a miniaturized nuclear device on a Scud missile that could reach all corners of the Korean Peninsula. Experts say North Korea's confidence level is higher than ever when it comes to war readiness, and that the regime could go ahead with a fourth nuclear test next year if things don't go their way on the diplomatic front. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.